Hello, and uh, thank you for taking time to be able to join me at this point in your day uh, for a time of devotion in our Lord. Uh, for the time that you and I have uh, together, I would like us to look at the subject actually today of generosity, or in other terms of giving. We'll get to that in just a second. But let's jump into our scripture passage for today. It'll flow right into our theme. Uh, it comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning at verse 6. And it's actually entitled, uh, Generosity Encouraged. The Apostle Paul writes these words. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in, in all things... At all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Uh, well, for most of us, uh, this last week on Thursday marked a time of Thanksgiving. Uh, all of us know that holiday and that celebration pretty well. Uh, the day afterwards, that Friday, is often marked as being Black Friday, the biggest shopping day of the year. It probably looked uh, quite a bit different for most people this year. Uh, those that like to get up early and go out and try to find deals, maybe even wait overnight or be right at certain places at the stroke of midnight is doors would open to be able to find something uh, just at the best bargain ever. Of course, we have Saturday and Sunday, which follow. And then we come to Monday, a time that is also deemed as being a shopping holiday, this Cyber Monday, a time in which you can go online and find the best deals of the year. Don't even have to leave your house. Maybe you can get an early Christmas present. And finally we come to today, a day which too is marked with a certain title, maybe one that's not so familiar, but it's actually known as Giving Tuesday. Uh, this is a holiday, if you will, that was started uh, in 2012. So it's been going on for about eight years now. And it was a challenge or not just Christians, but anyone, to be able to give back, to be able to give of their, their time, their efforts, their energy, their finances, uh, either to a, a loved one, a neighbor, uh, to your community, an organization around the world. And what a great celebration for us to be able to have. Uh, a time maybe to push aside all those deals that we were hoping to get for ourselves or uh, just having food and festivities of, of party time on our own but to look outward and to be able to see uh, what can I do to be generous. You know, Paul encourages that in our text for today, uh, for us to be generous. He talks about being able to sow generously and that we will reap generously. Now, when he makes that promise, uh, it isn't saying that if you give more money to church, if you give more time to your community, God is going to bless you like crazy. You're going to get a raise at work. You're going to have more time to live on this earth. That is not what he is saying. But I hope you feel as I do when I am able to give. That when I give, I do feel like I reap more. That I, I am blessed so much because of that, I don't know, just inspiration that I can receive from the Lord and being able to share with others. I feel a piece of that is because of what God has created inside of me and you. God shares everything with us, even his, his one and only son upon a, a cross so that we may live. And so when I share with others, I can think a little bit about that promise and about that delivery that God has made unto you and to me that we do reap generously because of what God has done. No matter what our, our condition, Paul goes through that. It doesn't matter what place you're in, what time you're in, what your situation is, God will take care of you. And so today we are challenged as a congregation to be able to not just sit back, but to be able to act and think, how can I give on this Tuesday and going forward to those who are around me? Uh, maybe at our church, it's the Project Angel Tree gift. Uh, such a simple thing. Grab one of those uh, pieces off the tree, one of those little angel tree gift cards this week, and be able to donate a gift card to a family who is in need. 
Uh, maybe you want to make a, a donation to our youth group and be able to lift up our, our children so they can just do something fun over uh, the Christmas season. Um, maybe it is that end of year gift that many of us make to be able to support our congregation. But think outside of that also. It's not just about our church. It's about all of those who are outside of our walls. How can you give to your, your neighbor this week? to somebody who is in need? Uh, how can you be able to provide time or maybe be able to provide some type of a physical need that they may have? Uh, maybe it is for the actual community. Maybe you, something stood out to you this week uh, within uh, Scottsdale that you said, you know what, I, I could help that organization or I could donate to, to that right now. Uh, my wife and I have an organization called a Wheelchair Mission that we haven't given to for a little while, and I think we're giving Tuesday today. today uh, that's the one that I'm going to select to be able to provide wheelchairs for people in, in foreign countries that can barely have clean water. Uh, and imagine what it would be like to be completely crippled and not be able to, to get around. So provide a wheelchair for people in a different country. What is something that you can do today? Uh, if you are listening to these words, take this not just from me, not even just from the Apostle Paul, but from the words of our Lord. Generosity encouraged. Share the gift of Jesus with somebody around you. Share the gift of that which we have, the time, the talent, the treasures that the Lord has allowed you to manage with somebody around you. And do it today, because today is Giving Tuesday. And guess what? Tomorrow will be Giving Wednesday, and then Giving Thursday, and Giving Friday. The Good Friday, in which we remember the blessings that God has always bestowed upon us, his people, over and over and over again in the birth, in the death, and of course, in the resurrection of his son. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunities that you give us as Christians to be able to share with our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, and even those that are outside our realm currently, Lord. Uh, we pray for them that by being able to share generously of not only the things that we have, but the testimony that you have given uh, that you will use us by your spirit to win over more in heaven on the final day than exist at this time. Lord, again, we thank you for this opportunity. Uh, challenge us and open up our minds to be able to give to you and to your people. In your son's name we do pray. Amen. All right, we'll catch you later this week.